have no idea what this means. I'm Tori. And I'm Dean. I'm bored. We're leaving the glamour of Hollywood behind and heading for the great outdoors. This is what I miss so much in LA. I miss cottage country. Canada. It's where I grew up, and I can't wait to share it with my family. We're searching for a simpler life. Deep fried cheese bars, come on. And taking on a big challenge. We're going to renovate a lakeside home in cottage country. This is harder than caring for our babies. Doing it all ourselves to create our dream getaway and show my family a new way of life. Oh. Oh, my God, you guys. One thing's for sure, it's going to be a summer to remember. Now here we go, Mama. It doesn't get any better than this. This is cottage country at its finest. This is beautiful, babe. Well, here we are. The kids are home in Los Angeles, and Tori and I have just arrived in Ontario, over 3,000 miles away from home. We only have three days to find the perfect place to spend a summer getting back to nature. <laughs> For me, getting back to nature would be lounging side. Does it make you want to go swimming? No. I want to jump right in. <laughs> We're looking for a fixer-upper we could totally remodel and make our own. It's kind of cool that this cottage is on its own island. A little nervous about taking a boat all the way over there. You shouldn't be nervous about taking a boat, because we're not. We're taking that. A seaplane. What? Yeah. No. Yes. No. You know I'm terrified of planes. I know, but you came all the way out here in the middle of nowhere with me. You trusted me, right? Now I have four babies. I'm not taking any chances. You can do this. It'd be a great way to see cottage country. I have a lot of irrational fears, and fear of flying is my number one fear in life. I get scared on huge planes, but little planes are my worst nightmare. It's something I got from my dad. My dad had a huge fear of flying, and he just didn't fly. And unfortunately, that got passed on to me. All right, buddy. Hey, Dina. Welcome to Cottage Country. Thanks. <laughs> so my job today is to take you out to your island. I... I Want to take a look? Um, OK. I'm just agreeing to look. Baby steps, baby. That would be your seat over there. Nice big window seat. Dean will be right there. I think it's going to be really cool. This is what I do for a living. Let me show you where I live. This he is knows insane. this airspace and, and this lake and cottage country better than anybody. You can do this. I don't want to pass that fear of flying onto my kids. I want them to take chances. So I love that Dean kind of pushed me into doing it. This is crazy. And I, I want to set that example for Liam and Stella and Hattie and Finn. I want them to go into everything fearless. So this is the first step in conquering that and not passing it on. So what do you find? How many people get to say that they went up on a seaplane and toured cottage country? <laughs> Why am I doing this? I will fly like my grandmother's on board. Hey, baby, you're okay. It's okay. Here we go. Oh, baby, no, no, no. New experiences. <gasps> see a cottage, I'm the one to come to. We are not in L.A. anymore. Please tell me that is not our real estate agent. You know, it's cottage country, right? Hi, guys. Hey, how are you? I'm Dean. Todd Jeffries. This is my lovely wife. You are welcome. Are you? <laughs> uh, you feel oh, better now? I'm back on land. You got sunscreen on there? You're getting a little... There's my uh, There's my shirt. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you. <laughs> He's putting a shirt on for the tour. Oh, there we go. He's putting a shirt on. Oh. Sure. So, Todd, do you shave or wax that chest of yours there? Oh, I shave it. He shaves. I told you this guy was smooth. TMI. Really? Mm-hmm. Come on up, guys. This is the perfect city at bed. On through here into the main room. Lovely room. I love it. Can't see me. Oh, the charm. 
Oh my I gosh. Love it. it is You're cute. good, aren't you? They want a cottage. This is a cottage. This is the one. One of the three bedrooms. Ooh. Second bedroom. It's a nice room. Ooh. Is this the only bathroom down here? Uh, no, there's a powder room off the kitchen as well. Okay. So we have to have two bathrooms. Everyone needs to pee and poop. What's in there? Oh, I Where see. It goes. The ah. Why would they build the flow that way? Why would you come from the master bedroom through the bathroom and take a pooper and walk into the kitchen and prepare breakfast? Hey, make me a sandwich. I'm going to be here for a while. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> okay, guys, let's go upstairs. This being a private island, I thought that may be good for you guys with your careers. Is there a grocery store? Restaurants? No, no. It's an island mall. I know. Oh, it sounded really good in theory. It does. There's obstacles with this place, yeah? It's challenging, but it's super yeah. cute. I would live in this in L.A. This would be great in L.A., but, you know, this is not a cottage. Well, back to the drawing board, I guess. Okay. Okay. Even more it's thought. only our first place. Know, like, let's go yeah. and get some other places. More to see. Oh, gosh, Todd. Wait, I'm nervous to get on a boat with you. Okay, well, if I got on a seaplane today, I can get on this. Are you a good driver? <laughs> Somewhat. <laughs> Don't slide out the back. It's a lot of wood. The kitchen is open into the living area. Three-piece bath. Oh, gosh, you can might sit find on handy. the toilet and wash your clothes. Yeah, awesome. Well, that's, that's pretty good. <laughs> okay, when you have more kids, that works. And two more bedrooms. The master's on the right and one for the kids. The thing about this place, Todd, it is very cottagey, but mm -hmm. I feel a little claustrophobic. Yeah. It feels tight. Okay. It feels, for it feels us. tight. There is some more space, guys. Come on down here. There's a bit of a basement. You might be able to make something out of it. Oh, wait, this isn't bad down here. Oh! Ah! Wait, what? I'm going to spray. Ah! Seriously. Damn skunk cost me the deal. You guys OK? That was the craziest thing. I had never thing. seen a skunk in person. It's so cute. You don't smell half bad, so it didn't get you. We're OK. Oh, my gosh. That was super exciting. There's no, I want cottage. I want to make that skunk a pet. No, 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 no. I no, loved no. it. Seriously. I have always wanted a pet skunk. <laughs> Skunks are cute, believe me, but not stinking up the basement of our dream cottage. Uh-uh. You'll call animal control? And They'd want to know about that. They can come sure. in and get him out. Yes. Yeah. I think that's an interesting thing. This one piece will make 52 layers. Watch on mobile devices or the big screen. All for free. No subscription required. It's the final day of our cottage search, and Todd has assured us that he has found the perfect place. Oh, I hope so. I am getting kind of a soft spot for that guy, the Toddster. What? Yeah, like him. Cottage number three. Three times a charm. I'm putting on my emergency brake. That's what the ladies say. Is that going to hold it? Yeah. Very uh, YMCA chic. I like it. Is that what we call that? Yeah, why not? Beautiful. I think Tori is warming up to me. All right, come on in. Is anybody home? It's nice, eh? I'm feeling this place. It's, uh, it's it needs a beauty. A work. Oh, my God, my heart. You all right? <laughs> if that had landed on your foot. Oh, it would have broken my foot. No kidding. Oh, Ew! That was, uh, What's that? Yeah. What's that? That's just a bit of meat. OK, show us more, Todd. Yeah, let's go through it. <laughs> what? Nothing, nothing. Sorry. Oh, my no. God, I'm going to Oh, wow. Excellent view. Oh. This is what I'm talking about, babe. <gasps> that right that there. That view's amazing. This is the cottage life right here. Look at that. This is a great space. This I can work with. You can run around here bare naked, no problem. <laughs> <laughs> the powder room? No, that's the bathroom for the whole building. There's one bathroom. But that's part no, of No, this yeah. is one bathroom on this level, but that's there's another one on the second floor. No. But that's part of cottage life. Who's cottage life? Kids share the bathroom. That's what it's all about. Todd, you have no <laughs> idea how much poop we have in this family. You have no idea. We can put a bathroom upstairs, right? Babe, let's see upstairs. 
Okay, Todd. Sharing. Sorry. We have to have two bathrooms. That is a complete deal breaker. Well, There's like bedrooms everywhere, one bathroom. I don't understand this. Okay. Ooh, what do we have in here? That is a bonus. Make this the kids' room. Liam and Stella. You only need one bathroom with that room. Not true, Todd. <laughs> Come on out, guys. Look at this. You got a thousand acres of playground right in front of us. This is awesome. But I had the yeah. best sex ever on top of a boathouse. It's fabulous with on the wind boathouse? on your bum. No, no, it wasn't this one. <laughs> the girl was amazing. She was just wild. I already love that guy. Sheer entertainment. This is the high point. Whoa. So I think you guys should have a look at this view, concentrate back on the cottage and what it can look like in the future, and to make a decision. It's a nice property. It is quite charming. Okay, yes, it needs a lot more work. Mm, we it's like work, great. though. We, like we do like work. Stuff. We can make it our own. Yeah. It's secluded, it's private. We are putting in a second bathroom upstairs. I promise Please. you, I promise you, you will get your second bathroom. It's a huge decision. Don't close your eyes, look out there. Okay. And make your decision. Yes. Yeah. That's my girl. Oh, God. <laughs> this is a perfect opportunity for a selfie. Say cottage. Cottage. Now it's back to LA to get the kids, the baby nurse, and the dog. Road trip. We there yet, sir? I've been on the road a long time. I don't know, Patsy. I don't even know where I am right now. Patsy's our baby nurse. She's been taking care of our baby since Liam was born. Baby on the bus. Go. Wow, wow, wow. And she's the perfect companion to help us get through the summer. I have no idea what this means. Getting away from the stresses of L.A. seemed like such a good idea. OK, so we... 99 bottles of beer on the wall. 99 bottles of beer. I take one down, pass it around. 98 bottles of beer on the wall. Oh, my gosh, who farted? <laughs> oh. That's a bear bear poop. Woo! We've got to get him out of this car. OK, buddy. Yay, here it is, guys. Yay, we're there. Everyone knows that my family built one of the biggest houses ever, and the manor took literally six years to build. So growing up, I watched construction my whole life. I always saw it happening around me, and I was fascinated. And now that I am a wife and mother and have a family of my own, I want to build houses, but I actually want to jump in there and do it ourselves. I want us to create the home we live in. You ready to go see the lake? That way! I'll beat you. I'll beat you. Be careful. Okay, let's go. Ah. Guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you think? Amazing. Amazing. High fives. High fives. Don't call the doctor. Woo, woo, woo. I love our new cottage, but it does come with all the furniture inside, and a lot of it's not really my taste. So it's like, what do we do with all this stuff? And then, ah. Of course, yard sale. OK, put those on that table, Bugs. Wait, babe, why is that out here? I want that. Why? Because I'm going to repaint it in like a high gloss color. And it'll be an outdoor bar cart. Spray it. It'll be great. You just promise me that's it, because I just don't want to keep collecting junk. Like, if we keep this, we have to use it. OK, okay maybe just this lamp, though. Wait, okay. I like to repurpose things. Repurpose or hoard? I mean, Pats, do you think this would look super chic if we painted it? No, it would new... not. No, no. Did you know he's going to say no? She a wants help. that chair. Good girl, I'll Stella. Thank you for telling me. Are you getting more? OK. Just, oh, God, I love this pot. Hold Mom's on. getting something else. So we just. What did she get? So we just need. Like a lion thing and a mitt. I want that! I'm fairly confident I told you I wanted that. You're going to give me a headache and a yeah, hernia, babe. At this rate, we're going to have a yard sale with absolutely nothing to sell. Not true. There's lemonade. Oh, oh hi. Right. That's cherry. That's regular. Are you willing to deal I'm willing to deal in. I'm the guy to see. Five dollars? Three dollars? A dollar. A dollar. <laughs> well, I have to start somewhere, right? Is that part of the yard sale? Like, I don't know. The yard sale is going great. 
We're new here. I was scared nobody would come. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Probably about 200 at least. Yeah. 200? I can't believe how many people showed up. <gasps> we have enough lemonade. This was on the radio? Wow. I didn't know it was on the radio. We heard it on 100.3, the Christian radio station. Hey, everyone. Hey. Hi. <laughs> the good news is things are selling. So 60 for everything? Certainly. Okay. The bad news? That chair I think we're actually keeping. I was going to redo it. Our best customer is my wife. Pretty fabulous, right? Yeah. I plucked it out of the sale. All morning, I've been bringing stuff out, <laughs> and she's been sending me back <laughs> in because she wants to keep it all. It sounds like my husband. <laughs> the yard sale was a smashing success. And we got to meet all the neighbors, all 500 of them. <laughs> Off, create a hall into this bedroom, put on a pocket slider, maybe a tub over here, toilet, and maybe a bidet. Dean, in all reality, you can't put a bathroom up here. It's too much weight. It's a structural thing, not to mention an entirely new septic system. When you add one bathroom, you increase the load on the septic system. And this is an old one, and you're going to have to bring it up to code. I promised Tori a second bathroom. Well. That's a conversation you're going to have to revisit. You do it for me? Not a chance. Not a chance. It's all yours. This is not going to go over well. Wish me luck. Who wants bananas in their pancake? Yeah, I feel like bananas. OK. Oh, my gosh, I can't wait till we have a real kitchen. Hello, my little cottagers. Hello. Hi, Daddy. How are you? I got some good news for you, and I got some bad news for you. OK, what's the good news? Good news is I am going to build you guys a really cool, huge, big bathroom down here. And what's the bad news? Bad news is uh, we can't have a second one upstairs. What? No, 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 no. No, no. no. why? It's, it's a structural issue. What thing? Well, this is what happens when you get into renovations. Like most people only have one bathroom in a cottage. Just keep that in mind. Look, one, two, three, four, five. I don't want to share bathroom with you guys. We don't all go at the same time. Like... Oh, my gosh. That was a deal breaker. I know, and that's my bad, and I'll take that. If you make this a bare bathroom, when would you start on that? Like, got to start right away. Well, then that's a problem. Then we have no bathroom to use. We're living here. When I got to go, I got to go. Pat, you better start crapping your pants, because you can't use a bathroom. No, 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 I'm sorry. I just I don't know what to do. Oh, my gosh. I'm telling you, we can't stay here. This doesn't work. I'm Mama Bear. I always got a plan. So, time to call my new best friend, Todd. Hi, Todd. It's Tori Spelling. Yes, loving the cottage, but we just figured out we can't add on a second bathroom, and we're about to start renovating that bathroom. And I was wondering if you had any type of rental property that we could get for a bit. Two weeks. Fine, I'll take it. Can we move today? So Tori thinks she's won with this rental cottage, but I'm determined to find a way that my family can enjoy the great outdoors. Who's going to sleep where? Tents. Huh. OK. No experiences. That's my girl. Yeah. Daddy will sleep in that green tent. You, you know that. what? This whole thing is so cute in theory. <laughs> we have a perfectly nice rental house. We want to camp out the great outdoors, right? Right. What he said. Exactly what he said. Great Experience outdoors. the great outdoors. Great outdoors. This, this is not a cottage. Great this outdoors. is like a home. Okay. Uh, here, no, Stella. Yeah, you clip those on, OK? Whoa. Now, Stella, come over here, baby. Come and hold this like you did last Thank time. You. OK. Pat, you're not sleeping in a tent? Are you crazy? No. You're missing out, Pat. Ah. I'm going inside because you guys are crazy. Happy mosquito night. Hey, Mom, look at the beautiful sunset. Isn't that gorgeous? That is pretty. Night, night, son. See you tomorrow. Night, night, son.
Growing up, I loved going to the lake. So this year, I wanted to give my own family a taste of Canadian cottage life. What do you think? Amazing! Amazing! High fives! High fives. And I'm learning to expect the unexpected when it comes to renovating a century-old cottage from top to bottom. Most people only have one bathroom in a cottage. Just... I'm telling you, we can't stay here. This doesn't work. One thing's for sure, this is going to be a summer to remember. If I'm going to turn my city-dwelling family into rugged, outdoorsy Canadians, it's going to take baby steps. Another perfect nice day, day in cottage day. country. A simple boating trip around the lake is a perfect cottage activity to get the ball rolling. OK, come here, guys. You got to wear your life jacket on the boat, OK? OK, let's get you a life jacket. Nancy, you're looking good. <laughs> right? Yeah. All righty. Thank you. No problem, guys. I want to see that puppy driving when I'm back. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. You guys excited? Uh-huh. We're going out for a three-hour tour, right? Woo! I don't think so. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Don't go fast. Buggy. Oh, yeah. Did you leave your smile on the dock? Where's your What's smile? What's wrong? I know this whole outdoorsy thing. Dean really wants our family to be on board. I don't think the kids are sold yet. Where are you supposed to be going this fast? This isn't fast at all. Are you kidding? Maybe getting choppy. Maybe being... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh my gosh, wait. Whoa! Babe, it's getting choppy. No, yeah. it's just from the wake to the other boat. Whoa! These are called rollers. This is a roller? Yeah, like a we coaster. Go, we go out in the, uh, in the storm and just uh, ride the waves. Are you serious? Yeah. Look at Mitzi. It's Mitzi's first time on a boat. I think <laughs> she likes it. Buggy, do you like it? No? Oh my gosh, you so don't have an outdoorsy family. Just breaking it to you now. It's hard not to take it personally when the kids aren't enjoying themselves. So, babe, yes? keeping with tradition, my dad taught my sisters and I how to swim by uh, just throwing us in the water. That's uh, nice. I'm going to teach you how to drive a boat the same way. No, you're not. No, no. Grab the wheel, take us in. What are you talking about? Take us in. I have no She's idea how to even. Yeah. Gosh. You'd probably be safer to let Mitzi drive this boat than me, but okay. <laughs> Just like a car, steers yeah. the same way, mm -hmm. okay? Push it forward to go forward, but also to give it gas. Okay. It suits you, babe. Don't push that button. What? Just push it forward. Push. Now it's all throttle from here out. Throttle? It means gas. That's your gas pedal. There you go. You're driving, Mom. This is port. And that's starboard. OK. Popcorn and starburst. Got it. <laughs> how do you feel? I feel like I might look really chic right now. That's how I feel. You do look chic. <laughs> Doesn't mama look chic? Sit back, kids, and watch mama drive. This is pretty awesome. Babe, I love this. <laughs> I'm not kidding. I never thought in a million years I'd ever be driving a boat on a lake in Canada. You doing good, baby? I could do this all day and night. I'm Super not going to flip stable. us, right? Not, it would take a tornado to flip this no, thing. Please don't say tornado. Whoa, wait, we're starting to go fast. There's so. an island right straight in front of us. What do I do now? What do I do now? Well, you know what? Turn on this go away. Whoa. Ah! Wait, 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 what happened? I didn't do it, babe. Just stop. <laughs> dead. What's going on? I don't know, buddy. I wish I knew. The problem is it won't stay started. It, it catches. <gasps> oh, it's really choppy. It's okay, don't look down. You're going to get sick. Oh, my gosh, we're stuck. Thanks a lot, Boat. You're not helping my cause. Hey, Jeff, it's Dean. Yeah, we got a bit of a problem. We'll sit tight. Uh, but how will he find us? Babe, we're the Do only we need... boat that's not moving. What if they don't come soon? They'll come. You and that little outfit, that'll get people's attention. <laughs> Stop. That'll get us rescued. Yo! Heard you had some boat trouble. Ahoy! Hi! Am I disappointed? Yeah, I'm disappointed. This was supposed to be awesome, and it's a real sinker. Babe, I warned you, we're just not an outdoorsy family. I think I can still win you over. There's a lot more fun stuff out here to do. Well, if they make this an Olympic sport, we're You're good right. to go. <laughs> the Canadians right. have done it. They've done it. They've won gold in the pontoon.
Well, if I can't get the family into nature, I just hope our first project will get them outdoors. A brand new deck with a view of the lake. Okay. So, game plan. Yeah. What do you want to do? Do you want um, it bigger? Do you want it longer? What's the deal? Why would you even ask me that question? Why would you <laughs> even test me? Every girl wants it bigger, me? longer. Justin, come on. If it's this high, you need a railing. So, I'd like a lower deck, to be honest, with the kids. I agree with that. This deck is dangerous. It's just a weird gap. You know, we have four kids. Like, I don't right. want them to just fall off. So, well, let's build something here. Something simple, like just building a big flower box. Flower bed. Like raised, though. Like Garden. Not, like, Garden. Yeah, but like a flower. Herbs for the kitchen. All right. Okay, high tens. High tens. Love it. Just oh, watch for nails. Ah! Watch for nails. There you go. Whew. There's one thing that I've always wanted, babe, at a cottage is an outdoor shower. You know those, you see them in the westerns, you know, where it's just like, this sort of beat up barn door, and you know, you can see your feet underneath, and this big rain head overhead, and just whoosh, having a shower outdoors. Showering outdoors, naked? No way. I can see the paparazzi shots now. Too old for this. Shit. But I'm not giving up, and the kids love our pool back home, so I'm sure they'll love swimming in the lake. This is great for the kids because it's it's shallow and it's, there's not a lot of big rocks. Careful. At least Patsy knows how to enjoy the lake. I'm good. Okay. Finny. Oh my god! I see a snake! Where is it, Mom? That is weeds. It's a lake snake. It's just seaweed, baby. In life, I have two basic rules. One, always be chic. Two, don't let your kids swim with snakes. You're bringing him out? Yeah, he doesn't seem to be too happy. There's guns in his eyes. Okay. Buddy, yeah. What's up? Is he bleeding? You're okay, buddy. Okay, buddy, do you want to get out? Okay, you guys, you want to start to get out? How's it going? Is it hurting that bad? Okay. <laughs> Snakes? Really? Have you met me? Okay, in a few weeks, I'll be dragging the kids out of the lake. All right. There is one place I know I can win you back. Antique shop. Oh, my god, I love antiques. Oh, OK, but don't get carried away, babe, OK? We're on a tight budget. Please, I am the queen of negotiation. Hi. Hello, come on in. We're new to town, and we were told in town that you're the place to come for antique furniture. Well, can you hear us OK? Yes, you know what that is. Sorry, what is it? That is a moose call that the hunters use for hunting moose. No way. And, yep, a real one? That's a real one. This guy seems to really know his stuff. If I'm going to stay on budget, I'm going to have to up my game. I don't know what you're looking for. Everything. We're renovating a cottage. Yeah. And we love antiques. I like this chair. I like the shape of this chair. It's, it's not old. It's only about 1880. So instead of being in the you know five, six, eight thousand dollar range, that's three hundred. Would you go down at all on this? Depends how much you buy. <laughs> Hopefully not very much. What's that? Your second bathroom. He's not kidding. I still can't believe that our cottage has one bathroom. But I think this is a great idea. A toilet discreetly hidden in the living room. It's an 1850s, 1860s, and it's seven spindle. I love it. And it's what we call an original surface. So this is bumware? I would say. <laughs> I would say, yeah. This is original bumware. You can't put a price on original bumware. Oh, oh, back here, back here, back here. Carpet. Stop, this one, this one. Oh, my god, I love this. Hey, handsome? Yes. <laughs> Yeah. How much is this one? You've got a good eye. I've been told I have two good ones. Oh, well, that's jargon. No, you've got a good eye. $400. Firm. Firm? firm. I don't like that word, firm. Wait, can I ask you about a couple pieces I saw out on the deck? Sure. We're doing this amazing deck, and I just want to know how much this wicker set is. Okay. I want to take the concept of doing antique wicker and give it a little more of a modern vibe. Yeah. yeah. But I want a beautiful set. 
All these pieces came from one collection, and they're 1920s, 1930s. That's all part of the Gatsby era. That's my style. Well, that's what this is. I love it. Price is $1,500. That's pretty pricey for wicker furniture, isn't it? That's a great deal for that set. I'm going to repurpose it myself. We'll save on the other end. Trust me. The only thing is I want to reupholster it. I want to repaint it. So if it was 1500 and I was using as is, great. But that's going to throw off our budget. Would you do 1200 No. You know you look like George Clooney? You do, in the eyes. Well, that's very kind of you. Yep. Very kind of you. Okay. But it's $1,500. $1,300? Thank you. No. 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 I just want to know how much this wicker set is. That's all part of the Gatsby era, and the price is $1,500. <sighs> Would you do $1,200? No. 1250 no. No, I will not. Please. No. It really doesn't matter who you are. The price is the price, and I don't negotiate that. I want $1,500 for it. $1,300? Thank you. No. 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 $1,450. No. This is a three-seater. Okay. And most of them are four. Okay. But it's $1,500. Negotiation is my middle name, but I've tried everything and i don't think he's going down in price at all well maybe it's time i give it a go give you a trauma try we'll see good luck pal that chair yes that she likes in there yeah. do this for 15 mm -hmm. and will you throw that in for 100 bucks that was the 300 dollar chair mm -hmm. yes yes i will and the lapis and salmon carpet that i love the area rug over there do you do that for? That was a four hundred dollar purchase. You do that for two. Spinning image of George Clooney. It's crazy. Two hundred. Yes. Yes. High five. Done. Ta-da! That's how you go antiquing, folks. We got more than we expected, and we stayed on budget. It's a win, win, win. You know I softened him up for you, right? Sure. I think we're just about ready to go. We're ready to rock and roll, brother. Yeah. We're in the middle of rebuilding this deck. And my design assistants and I are doing what we do best, repurposing. You know how amazing this is going to look on the deck? It's going to be H-O-T. You know what that spells? Fashion. Kind of, yeah. OK, so it's been a tough adjustment for the family here in cottage country. But who doesn't love roasting marshmallows over an open fire? Uh, I'm loving this, because I got to do this a lot, being from Canada, cottaging. And now it's great, because I get to do it with my family. It's awesome. It's the best. I'm excited to share that experience with you. This is definitely a new experience for me. The crackle of the fire, the smoke in my eyes, the bug that just bit me behind the ear. You've never been camping, have you? Once on Beverly Hills 90210. Sounds <laughs> for something. My mo wrote. Yeah, look, it's roasting. See? Watch that. See? I'm turning it. That way it just toasts and doesn't catch on fire. Buggy, not too close. It'll catch on fire. I'm not that close. Fire, fire, fire. Dad, fire. Dad. Okay. Buggy. Oh, ah! Ah! Woo! Mitzi, watch out. Buggy, yours is burnt. It's okay, baby. It happens. Yeah, Wait, shh. What's Mitzi barking at? I'm really getting. What's she barking at? A real taste of the cottage life. Babe, do you think there's something in the bushes? What's she barking no. at? Mitzi? So there's a lot of noise. She's staring at the bushes over there. Babe, Mitzi barks at a wall. <laughs> Oh, God, the smoke. I can't breathe or see. Okay, just blink, blink, blink. Just blink. It is blowing. Oh. The smoke's blowing. Go on this side, monkey. I know you weren't crazy about this, but... It's melting, Mommy. I can't. It's like a deconstructed s'more. It's fabulous. No. Ah. His eyes went blue back. Ah. It's fine. OK, it's baby. Yeah, it's fine. Like a pill. I don't want to do any more food. Oh. Well, that didn't go as planned. The campfire was a bust. What's next? The good news is our chic new deck is really taking shape. But your outdoor shower idea, it's still feeling too public for me. Oh, come on, darling. No one's going to see your jumbly bits. <gasps> well, I still have plans to make it a little more private. 
visually like taking an old fashioned outhouse. Right. Chic defying it and making it an outdoor shower. Right. But I would love it to have kind of like that look. So do we have to do it so you see like Now. You know I'm all about hands. Knee height to shoulder height. Knee top, height top or all the way to the ground? To uh, your choice. All the way to the ground, you kind of finish the look, finish the look over there. You're going to have to have the boards off the ground because with the water and the barn board, it's going to rot like that. Depends Somewhat. on whether I have a pedicure or not. I mean, you want to see my toes? Like this. But you won't see you. What, seeing us like, Just Give or take. covering all your, your jumbly bits. Are you putting a border on it? No. No, just barn board. Just give me some vertical barn boards and not finish it off with a border at the top. OK, I like I, it. I think we need to have a cap. But I just want that look of just like, And I'm telling you, it looks it unfinished. It, it looks like a kid made this. This is what yes, you Yes, which is exactly my point. The outhouse and reference. And that has its the place. Horse. But look at. If we can't find a way to compromise on these little tiny details, our seven-week renovation is going to take years. I think it needs a cap. I can't waste any more time with this. That's we can what add I a want it to look like without a roof. I like that. I think you've got a winning idea. It's just a matter of convincing him. For me, the devil is always in the details. They can pretty much make or break any project. But if we can't agree on a simple thing like a piece of wood on a shower, what are we going to do when we have to make big decisions later on? Well, it's been a couple of days, and Justin's a pretty good interpreter. Maybe he'll have found a good compromise for our shower. What if post the showers on to tie everything in? Paint it blue. I was going to paint a coral. Really? Yeah. What do you think? I don't think coral can stand up to this barn board. I think the blue stands up to this barn board. I was just in one really? blue overkill. OK, can can I try a cap? There's the, there's the cap. What do you think? It's not going to be any bigger than that. No, we're just going to use the barn board. Stop hanging it I'd over like, like a big see, old lip. I'd like to see a double. I, I don't understand. It's just the cap. I, I don't oh. I don't get it. What the? I can't. I can't do the cap. It ruins the whole vision for me. I can't. The cap. I, I can't. Seriously. See, that cap is ruining the look of it. Whatever. Wallpaper it, whatever, do whatever you want. Move it wherever you want. Put, put it on the boathouse. I think you give him the cap on the top, you're going to solve like a true uh, man. You give you guys too much, no. No, 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 no. Speaking from experience here, trust me. We're going to paint. Mm -hmm. We're going to move. We'll talk about the cap. Done. Good. You know what that means? Yes. Female, male, you know what that really means? We're never talking about it. Done. Thank you. After finishing our first project, I had a bit of a revelation. This cottage is going to be about our traditions and making new memories. And family meals on our fabulous new deck is just the start. I think we're actually going to make it through this reno. Do you want some lemonade? Use this dun, one. Dun, 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 okay, dun, I'm going to go over there and sit down. Oh my gosh, yummy. That looks delicious, Dude. baby. Is that your green lemonade? You guys, what do you think of the deck? Amazing. Right? You painted this furniture. I love it. You know what that means? You're a handy man. <laughs> <laughs> if this is any indication of how this whole place will look when the whole house is done, OMG, this is amazing. Our family really can be totally outdoorsy. Hmm, really? Hmm. Well, now is the perfect time to see how outdoorsy you really are. Babe, I think it's the first time we have relaxed since we've been here. As odd as that sounds. It is. It is. A nice summer night. Kids are asleep. Just you and me. There's an even better way to end a lovely day at the cottage. What? Right now? You don't know what I was going to say. I could assume what you're going to say. Oh, Something oh. dirty. It's actually not dirty. It's just, actually, it's quite clean. What? 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 Let's go have a shower. In the outdoor shower? Yeah. That's for after the lake. Come on. What are you oh, talking about? That's for like quiet mommy and daddy time. 
beautiful sunset. You know, like a cozy duvet and tons of pillows. That's mommy and daddy time. The end to Outdoor a beautiful day. Night. No, babe, come on. <laughs> no. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> That's what's great about college. Ah! Come on. Here we go. Ah! Isn't this awesome?